In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the Y cross concept in Madden 22 from the air raid offense. Uh, the Y cross concept is one of my favorite passing plays year in and year out. I'm going to show you a way that you can create this concept with one of the best post routes in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on YouTube. Now guys, we're going to be talking about the Arizona Cardinals play, but we're going to be focusing in on the P.A. Reed play. Um, if you have the slot apprentice ability, that's going to make this play significantly better um, in terms of how we're going to run this. And we're going to get great pass protection. I'm going to show you how to pick up blitzes from spread. And then I'm also going to be talking um, in this video about, like I said, the Arizona Cardinals playbook. If you want to get my Arizona Cardinals offensive guide, it's available in my Patreon. So by joining the Patreon... For just ten dollars a month, you're not only going to get access to my full spread air raid offensive ebook, but you're also going to get access to twenty uh, offensive and defensive ebooks that I've put, already put in the membership. So you get all the ebooks that I've done all year. You also are going to get any updates to those ebooks that I've released this season, which we release updates every single week in the membership. And then you're also going to get access to any new ebooks that we will release over the course of the Madden 22 season. So if you want to get better in Madden, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon. There's a link in the description if you want to sign up for that. Now the play we're talking about today is the PA read. And the reason I like this play um, is because if I go to the same, or if I go to this meta uh, blitzing concept out of 335 wide, what you're going to notice um, is if I snap this ball right about here, I'm going to be able to pick up the pressure and I can get rid of the football. So as you can see right there, um, I can get rid of the ball. That's the number one reason why I like this because I can block pretty much every meta blitz in the game that they're going to be able to send to me. Now, where this concept, um, this Y cross concept is really, really, really good or really effective is for pretty much any defense in the game. And how we're going to set this up is we're going to leverage the power of the post route on the left side. That's going to be our vertical pull. Then we're going to crosser our slot tight end right there uh, which you would need the slot apprentice or the or the um, um, hot route master and then on the right side we're going to put mike evans on a deep uh, a deep end route so like a little 10 yard in and then i like to zig chris godwin and my first read is going to be godwin my second read is going to be gronkowski my third read is going to be evans and then lastly i have the post so i'm going to zig dot open but if you look up here, you're going to see the crosser gets over pretty much every zone in the game. And what's interesting about the spread is when you use a slot apprentice crosser from spread, um, one of the things that I want to quickly point out is that this crosser gets very deep. So you're going to see here, if I pass this up, that's about a 40 or a, about a 35 yard dot over the top. But if I wait on it just a little bit longer, and I'll show that real quick. If I wait on this, you see that it can get close to over, oh, close to that 40 yard range, um, which is what you need to get over the 30 yard cloud. So it's going to be a, a thing that if you know if they're not having at least 30 yard clouds, this right here can get into a very deep piece of the defense, which is one of the reasons why I really like the spread offense because of the spacing. Now that's not the only route on the play that's good. The second round of the play is the deep end. So if they're going to go user that route, which, again, this is a little bit of a poor example, but I'll show it here in just a second. So let's say they're going to go user. They're going to go user the crosser, okay, in a cover four situation. And most of the time, you know, that's going to mean a lot. But it, it, anyway, the bottom line is they're going to go use the crosser, Okay. What you should see here is if they're not playing hard flats on the left side, you can throw this zig and be confident that you can throw it. And the other thing I want to quickly point out about the zig is if they're not playing a cover two defense, so like if they're not going to play a cover two defense on you, then I'll show you real quick. What you can do with the zig is you can throw it right there, right in their little pass lead inside. Um, you probably shouldn't low ball it, but you can throw this. And I'll show it again here. Whoops, I didn't have a zig. But again, you see how deep that crosser gets. And the crosser is definitely the main play. It's going to be main. It's going to be zone for you. They're going to have to use it a crosser, which is going to make everything else 
possible. So now let's say they use the crosser and what that should do in terms of the way most people play defense this year is that should open up the middle for the deep dig. So you should see here that this dig is going to get open right about there. And as you can see, the offense is going to be able to continue to move down the field. Now, the other thing that's really cool about this formation uh, and really spread in general is if we have a hot rep master, uh, we can create a concept that I like at a trips tight end. So what we're going to do is we're going to flat Gronk. We're going to put Mike Evans on a five yard end. Put guy one on a crosser, motion him across. And what you'll see here is this is going to create basically PA counter go. And you have that dig from PA counter go from trips. So you see how this play can really build off one another, which is really interesting. Now, um, let's talk about this deep post real quick. So this deep post is definitely a deep post. Like it's a very deep route. And what you'll see here is when he crosses the safety's face deep, You've got a little bit of a window to get this over the top. And again, right there, you can quite get over the top all the way. But you can. It will definitely beat cover two. I'll show it against cover three one more time. Um, it will occasionally. It will occasionally um, beat cover three. So again, just set up our coverage. Uh, let's do. Let's do this. There we go. Crosses his face, and you're gonna throw that up. Still not able to get quite over the top. Okay, um, but the thing is, you're not really. I mean, that's more of a. It's more of a man read, and it's more of a cover two beater, which is fine. Um, they're still gonna have to worry about that post. So you see here, if it's cover two, you'll see. And again, Brady's killing me right now, um, but you'll see if it's cover two. The, the post will split the safety, and I'll show it again. Um, and then if it's man, it's a really, really good man beater, which is really nice to have uh, in this in this concept. So again, crosser, in route, you have the post already. And you see, it's over the top. Now, um, if you want the post to be a little bit better, you can move the ball to this side of the field. And if the ball's on this hash, uh, that post will be a little bit more effective. So again, Tampa 2. If you wheel the running back too, like if they're playing a lot of coverage and you just wheel the running back, um, that will also make the post better. But you see there. And again, the post is primarily a pull route as well. And then let's talk a little bit about the... Uh, post against man-to-man, -man, which you will see man-to-man -man a lot, especially if you run spread. A lot of people are liking to run man coverage um, against spread. That's one one of the main reasons why I like this play so much. What you'll see against um, man is it's such a deep post that a lot of times he's just going to outrun him over the top, as you can see, and get separation for a one-play score. This is also a really, really good play against... Um, match coverage so if they run match what you can do is put the guy on the left on a smart route and in and then you see how it isolates him in one on one again and that posts over the top for a touchdown so very good coverage play um, you know again if you wanted to like let's talk real briefly here about the wheel to the running back you can wheel the running back here. It's not a bad thing. If you're not getting a lot of pressure, it's not. It's, it's really a good thing. Um, and what you'll see is he'll hold that outside third on the right. See how he holds that outside third? So it creates this little window that you can try to work on or work toward hitting um, if you wanted to hit that. So you, know, you could have something like that. Um, another thing that you can hit here is if you want to streak, if you want to streak, like streak, crosser, and wheel. You'll see here, you definitely need a little bit more time, but this could be a pretty decent little shred, uh, coverage beater. You see how I can get open against cover three. And then cover two um, with the wheel. It just makes it a little bit more of a beater, but you will need to get out of the pocket. Brady, I literally stopped and he still threw it over the top. I'll show it to you one more time.
whoops uh, okay so PA read and the only thing different we're doing is wheeling the running back so you see everything else is the same but what you'll see is this post uh, should yeah get over the top of the cover two for a touchdown or at least a big play okay so that is um, Y cross or a variation of the Y crossing concept from spread really one of my favorite passes in the game if you want to learn more about the air raid offense or if you want to get better at Madden I really encourage you to join our patreon it's only ten dollars a month it gets you access to everything all the ebooks any updates to the ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active uh, so again guys if you want to sign up for the patreon there's a link in the description so head on down to the description below and click that if you would like to sign up for it